gap between the rain, the couple of out, turned, verser back in. I need to get some sheet metal from the storage above. I've got um, some gutter and repair here. Um, I've got some 1mm sheet metal and some 2mm sheet metal, 2 mils for the chassis side of things. I ordered this ages ago because of the price of metal was going through the roof so I thought I'll get some while I had it sat there in storage for a while. I will need to order some more repair sections for the roof but until I get the rest of these things off and stripped I don't know how much so that's the next, um, the next step. Get her back in, get more access to the side and uh, get rid of that rust. So I've got poppy turned round means I can get all the space on the outside here. Um, I'm not up against a wall. So I'm just taking, I put this on about a year ago when uh, I didn't have inside storage just to stop water getting in and I've been taking some off so far and yet if you're able to see because I've been doing work inside there's obviously a lot of rust coming out so we're now getting into the crux of um, how bad this is it's pretty much not held on by anything but that's what I want to get right to the bottom so I can build it back up basically. So going back to my earlier videos, this was um, this was all filled and bodged with uh, filler. It was just ridiculously done. Um, so I knew when I started scraping it away that it was going to open a can of worms. Welcome to that can of worms. So the plan now, I'm going to go back inside, I have to get this wooden bit off under here, get the um, angle grinders out again, get some more metal cut back, and I basically need to know how deep this goes and how much I need to get in and repair because I need to order some more parts before I can get into it. But before I do, off camera, I'm going to go and I'm going to get this uh, bit of wood here, this bit of wood here out, and get some more stuff cleaned back. Okay, both bits of wood moved. There was one came to here, and a short bit here came off just as easy as the other one. Um, felt pretty rotten under here, to be honest, especially at the back here. It's pretty, pretty bad. So yeah. Still peeling away the layers. Um, the wires that basically run all the way along here are from the light that was here and the socket that was up on the tower glass high top. So they basically come in, go in the cross member, come along here, come out the hole on the other side of here, duct tape to the roof all the way and then come out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them. I'm going to grab the small camera and I'm going to show you all around the outside, the top and the inside and I'll give you an idea of what I'm actually dealing with now that I've pulled away some of the rust. You see when I took the tape off all the rust fall and there's rust inside, there's rust everywhere but the more rust that falls out the less rust in the van. Um, yeah. I'll show you around and then I'll tell you my thinking of what I'm planning to do or where I'm planning to make a start to start repairing it and putting good metal back in.
the structure of this is very weak as you can see anyway once you start removing stuff. Um, this bar that was in the middle here has obviously been removed for the roof. I've taken the roof off has obviously weakened it. So I'm going to take measurements. Ideally, I'd want to put a bit of bracing along here to here. Um, the issue I've got with that is basically if it's strong enough to take the to the weld, the um, whatever this is, C post have to be where it was and if I then put bracing across there it's then limiting my working in here so I think I'm just going to basically cut off a section at a time. Now the repair sections come in 1.25 metres so I'm basically what I'm going to do just now is cut the 1.25 metres out and just focus on that section. I'll take measurements obviously in case anything moves but this roof that I'm looking at um, the hole required for it says it has to be 100, a minimum of 109 of a gap widthways and 2 metres lengthways. Now at the moment, lengthways I am just over 190 centimetres, so 1.9 metres. So it's fine lengthways which is good because it takes it nice and neat to um, the supports. Now at the moment the gap I have here is 120 so obviously I'm a bit over with this but the repair panels that go up here on the roof come to more than what the bit is I'm going to be taking off so when they come it should take it to Hundred and eleven, hundred and ten, possibly just a bit more. Yeah, so I'll need to measure basically the new panels when they come to see how much they're going to come up there. But that's how I'm basing my roof with repairs on a pop top that's going to fit on this hole. If I was replacing it with a whole tin roof I would approach it differently because I would need to bit by bit get all the supports and everything fixed and then the roof would just sit on top and spot weld on. So I'm going to go over how it's attached just here because that, it took me a bit of time to understand it. It's easy reading it in a, it's not as easy reading it in a book um, than it is actually doing it, taking it apart bit by bit and looking at it. I find it a lot easier doing it this way than looking at a book with all the diagrams. Um, the diagram in the restoration manual will stick up here. But that shows basically the three layers. It shows the roof layer. And again, I'll show you once I'm taking it off. The roof layer, the gutter layer that then comes all the way through, and then the side panel layer. All three of those meet and spot well together. Inside you've then got a boxing plate if you like that adds support so there's quite a few things I'm going to need to fabricate and a few parts I'm going to get so yeah so what I'm going to do up there is I'm going to start with this roof part here I'm going to cut the roof skin off this 1.25 meters um, and then I'm going to show you the part I've got here already in comparison to the part that's already in it so yeah while I'm here The distance I have side to side, just level with the bottom of the window, 151 centimetres. So I want to be check when I'm cutting stuff out. I want to keep checking that to make sure that that's still 151 centimetres. If not, I need to get bracing and make it 151 centimetres. Excuse my wobbly hands, but the first part I'm going to remove. I'm going to do it in line with this, so I'm going to cut down here, I'm just going to cut along here, normally there's spot welds along here, that spot weld to the, the gutter section, but it's all getting replaced, so I'm just going to cut down here, 
along here I have or I'm going to mark out 1.25 meters because this repair panel that comes along here with the guttering on is 1.25 so I'm going to focus on that at the moment one section at a time so I'll cut measure 1.25 meters cut down here I'll have a look at the gutter and compare it with the other panel I've got just to show you what it is um, and how it's set up and then I can then look at getting into the gutter because ultimately I need the roof skin which is the first layer second layer is the gutter which goes through uh, and the third one is this one here so I basically need into here to repair the top of this because I've looked and looked but I can't see any repair panels side panels for here so it looks like I'm going to have to do sheet metal up here but I need all this out of the way first So it's off. This is the bit that came off. As you can see, it was well gone. And it's even worse up top. You can see now why the water's getting in everywhere. But yeah, especially towards the B pillar. That's not even attached. That's, um, that's all gone. So to be honest, the panel, the top panel's now gone, so the roof panel was the panel that comes down here, spot welds along here. This part here, the gutter in, that comes up there, and then attaches basically under here by a spot weld, and onto the inside box and plate, spot welds on here. And this is rotten. You can see here, again, not attached, so... Yeah, I knew it was going to be bad, but the panel, again, apologies for the shaky hand uh, movements, but I'm trying to show you a bird's eye view. So yeah, the panel you get here is one of the repair panels. That will basically replace this panel here once that's away. The underside of this panel here would spot weld to the repairs or the new panel for the support on the inside. Um, the underneath of here and here would spot weld to this once it's been repaired. However, there is roof repair panels which come to about here and they're the same length, 1.25 meters, so they come to here but they also have the guttering attached to them. So basically It'll come from there, have the gutter on, and it'll go all the way to here. At which point I'll have to then join another section on. Um, I need to order those panels, I don't have these panels, so I'm at a point now where I'm going to have to nearly stop. Not quite, but nearly. For this part anyway, I can bash on with some other stuff. But I think what I'm going to do now, before I finish up, is get this cleaned, all the loose rust off. Um, most of this is detached anyway, so I'm going to get this part that I've just showed you the new part of off the gutter, basically off, because it's not attached along here anyway. Okay, so the gutter I will cut here and here, same place I cut the roof. Now, there's nothing attaching it to the side panel, so it'll lift away, otherwise it would have made it harder. The only other thing attaching it is um, when it's attached here, but as you can see, most of it is not attached. Now I don't know if that um, is supposed to be attached there.
with the rust cleaned off or picked off gives you a clearer picture so this plate here starts here up as the inside boxing plate or whatever it's called obviously attached to the panel here now I still need to decide how I'm going to do repairs on this um, I'll do that once I've ordered new panels and um, to give you an idea rough idea of how she's going to look with either this or the new roof panel on yeah they are very very rough guide it's a good point to stop there today because I've not got all the parts I need I need to do a bit more research as to the box and plate if I'm going to have to fabricate my own out of sheet steel or if you can buy repair sections for that the um, gutter as I says comes in a repair panel but it also comes in the repair panel for the roof so again I need to decide how I'm going to work that before I can start doing anything else, cutting anything else. Uh, the gutter repair one there is slightly different shape to the original um, so again I need to look at that. So yeah, research, doing, um, as I've always said with all my projects, um, DIY. I learn as I go and um, learn by my mistakes. So um, yeah, so I'll pick up next time from here. And I'll say, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.